What's up, gang, and welcome back to another edition of Road Tripping with the Roots. Hi, guys. This is The Real Review. So if this is your first time tuning in, thank you so much. Please be sure to subscribe, mm -hmm. hit that notification bell, and like this video. If you've been riding with us all along, thank you, thank you so much. Please be sure to like this video and comment so we know you're there. That's right. And today we'll be reviewing episode three of WandaVision. Yep. So this is the Rude's Real Review of a series. So this is our first series review. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll include the link for the first review uh, on this, on WandaVision. <sighs> Guys, we're three episodes in. Mm -hmm. I'm having a hard time. Really? Now, I will say we went from black and white to color because we are in the 70s. The, I, I do like the fact that the theme song is different mm -hmm. with each episode. It was giving me crazy Partridge family vibes. House is different. House is definitely Brady Bunch swag. Yep. Which, I looked them both up. Did you, the Partridge family and the Brady Bunch um, both ran and, and ended in 74. In my mind, they were so much longer. They ran, like the Partridge, Partridge family. reruns. Partridge Family only ran for four seasons. Really? Which to me, listen. Yeah, I wouldn't have believed that. I thought Danny was in these streets forever. So let me say something here real quick. I've had a change of heart. So look. <laughs> well, right, really quick. If this is your first time watching a real review, just so you know, we watch and then we come straight in front of the camera so we don't discuss with each other each other's views. So I am conflamixed. But anyway, go ahead. So... I can see why the people that watched like Dick Van Dyke show and them 50 shows liked episode one and then like Bewitched and everybody that like I Dream of Genie and stuff like that liked episode two. Now, I like the Brady Bunch, right? So I was really vibing with episode three. So, okay. Regardless, that was the thing. While I was watching it, I didn't really even care about the connection to the MCU at all. I was just bugged out with the slapstick comedy and, and stuff like that. So, from a standpoint of creativity, this series is something oh, yeah. like we've never seen before. Right. You know, comment down below if you've seen something similar. I have not. Yeah. Um, so, it is something like we've never seen before. Um, but I wasn't... Partridge Family, yes. Brady Bunch, not so much. Um, I just couldn't wrap my mind around having a maid in the house and, you know, <laughs> all those things. So, um, I will say, I'm still not there. I have hope for episode four. So, here's the rundown. If you um, watched episode two, you saw that it ended with and expecting Wanda. Right. Right? And um, there was a change of lines where um, Vision says, is this really happening? And she says, yes, it is. And then she kind of like, there's a change in which it's Wanda, it's Vision that's saying, is this really happening? And Wanda's saying, yes, it is. Right? Okay, yeah. We see that again with this episode. Mm -hmm. So, boom, they go from... Wanda expecting to Wanda being full on in labor mode within 12 hours, right? Right. Um, Vision is as surprised as everyone else. So it's clear that Vision is when not. Do, when do you think she got pregnant? I mean, Vision doesn't even know. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. When they slid the beds together in episode two. Oh, Guys, I don't want to think about Wanda and Vision. Okay, I don't, uh, want, I don't want that Vision. I don't want the Vision of Wanda and Vision. Okay, so um, so back to what you're saying. Twelve hours, she's already like four months pregnant. So doctor comes to the house, which that's a great touch. Like a uh, shout out to those days where you had um, house home calls. visits, house calls. Mm -hmm. Um, and then he says he's going to Bermuda. And I was like, well, what's the connection to Bermuda? Because he mm. said it several times. Mm. And I'm like, is it like one of those, like, you know, how we have the Black Widow and Hawkeye have their inside joke? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I don't know. So comment down below if you know, but the doctor kept saying, all right, we're going to Bermuda. And then... But the entire episode, Vision is confused. Very confused because he's starting... Okay, so it's almost like Vision's not a part awareness. Of, well, it's not what I'm... I don't know. It's starting to turn from me thinking Scarlet Witch is actually controlling him yeah. to where he's his own entity in yes. this whole thing. And here's why. He comes out to walk out the doctor who is, uh, you know, kind of confused, but still walks out. He walks the doctor out and then he runs into, well, his neighbor's there. His neighbor's trimming the hedges. Right. And as Vision's done talking to the doctor, it's clear that the neighbor is ear hustling. Mm -hmm. Shout out to all the ear hustling neighbors. I don't know what comedian said it, but click, 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 click. Uh. Mm. I don't I don't, need, I don't know the fascination between people and their neighbors. But anyway. My man Herb. Herb was there. And instead of trimming the bushes, at this point, he was cutting into the cinder block. The cinder block fence, which that confused me. Was that a thing in the 70s? I don't know. Like, I mean, I know good fences make good neighbors, but cinder block. It was colored yellow. Though, I can so go I with that. It. I can go to cinder block. First of all, what equipment easily... Cuts through cinder block. Well, yeah, I was thinking that too. Like, okay, hedge trimmer would never. So then I'm like, is that styrofoam? Like, are they, it, you know, like, I, I nah. feel like everyone in the town knows the town's a prop. Yeah. For uh, for the most part. So um, he's like, Vision's like, you okay there? Are you all right? And he's like, oh, oh yeah, everything's fine. But Vision's starting to be like, mm, something's going awry. Right? Yeah. And then they start doing the baby's room. And by this point, Wanda is full on in labor. Right. And you know what's crazy? I mean, you, you've seen it. You called it out right away. It was a crib in front of her and one behind her. But they were acting like they were only having one child. So I had to take another look. And um, it was a crib and then a bassinet. Oh, but it was so. in the same space, which yeah. was weird. Yeah. But... Um, while she's in labor, and any woman that's been in labor, comment down below if you felt this way. Everything around her went nuts. And I, f I felt like vision to all the husbands out there. Wait, you right? Yeah. <laughs> push, push. <laughs> um, so, like, I had fun looking at the vacuum, like the canister style vacuum, and like all the appliances were going like completely. Um, nuts. Yep. And then enters Geraldine, aka Maria Rambo. Well, now Vision ran out to go get the doctor. Wait, is again. it Geraldine or Genevieve? Geraldine. Geraldine. Okay. But now Vision has ran out to go get the doctor again. Right. Because, because once Vision, he came back inside, she was like nine months. Go pregnant. time. It was go time. So she was like. I think we skipped a part though. Now. What uh, Vision comes back into the house um, after talking to Herb outside with the hedges. <laughs> Herb, Herb. I know. I don't want to call him Herb. Herb. But anywho, um, he comes back in and, you know, he's talking to Wanda and he starts to realize like, hey, our neighbors are wilding. Like, what's going Sketchy. on? Something's going on. And boom, she glitches or she rewinds it, whatever. It almost looked like. Our internet was acting up. I'm like, yo. Yeah. So he goes back to go at dinner with the hearts. And now yeah. her. So he's starting to put the pieces together. And the level of concern on Wanda's face right. is real. So I know we had talked about this before, how we were going back and forth of like, is someone controlling Wanda or is Wanda controlling things? Right. And it really seems like Wanda is a willing participant in living this life. Yes. And if you've ever watched any talk show, you see some women really love living lies. Mm. Um, so, I don't remember. So, correct me if I'm wrong. Was she ever able to control Vision's mind? So, that was my thing. Like, he ha he has the mind stones. Right. So, like I've never seen her. Or maybe it was just that things were so good, she never wanted to kind of 
use that skill on him or, or do that to him. They never really showed that. The only time they showed it is when, like, her controlling, and not even controlling him, but um, when they came to break her out during Civil War. Yeah. And she sent him through the floor. Yeah. So he couldn't stop her. But, but it, that was about the extent of... Yeah. Where this time, obviously, for her to take it back and then change what he said. Shout out to everyone that has a partner that, you know, wishes that they could do that. <laughs> Don't I know it. <laughs> so you could tell that he's starting to get clarity. Yep. She's in full on labor. So Vision books it. This is the 70s. So I feel like books it is appropriate, right? He books it to the doctors, right? The doctor's trying to fix his car, I guess, to go to the airport because, yeah. buddy, you ain't going to Bermuda in a car. Right. So the doctor's like working on his car. Vision goes to get him. In the meantime, enters Geraldine. Yep. Maria Rambo. Oh, before that, though, we had the commercial. Oh. Which, guys, right away, I already knew it was Calgon, take me away. Right. That's what I said immediately. Except it wasn't Calgon. Right. It was Hydra. Uh, Hydra Soak. Hydra Soak. Hydra which Soak they're not even trying to hide it no more. No. Right? It's like, okay, we're going to tell you. Yes. But Hydra. so here's the thing, though. I. So there were two commercials that didn't register to me until I became an adult, a mother, during quarantine. The Calgon commercial and the damn bonbons commercials. Mm -hmm. Comment down below if you remember the bonbon commercials. So, I'm like, what's the big deal? Taking a bath. Like, what? what's all the hype about? It matters. Yo. No one's interrupting her. I just thought it was funny. Like, it would always be like, Calgon, take me away. Yes. She was hiding in the bubbles. You can't hide from children in bubbles. I've tried. <laughs> I've tried. Um, so then after that commercial, Maria ran... Well, what's her real name? What's her name in the show? Geraldine. Geraldine. Geraldine comes in. And, okay, so I was paying attention to everyone's clothes just because I, I love the, the time period pieces, right? Mm -hmm. So 80s is going to be lit. I'm ready. I know. First of all, I don't know why Vision's collar was out. One of his part of his collar was out, and what I thought was was that it's there's you're starting to see cracks in the story, mm -hmm. right? So vision starting to come out and starting to realize things. Maria Rambo comes through. Her outfit was bananas. Mm -hmm. I'm just here to say it. I don't know what it is about objects on print that I love or animals on print that I love. Judge if you want. The fish pants were just too too cute. Yeah, but she came in because she was looking for a bucket because when Wanda was having contractions, she was tearing everything up. So. And when her water broke, her water broke. It was the it, it was, was the, it was the water like the it was the water breakage around the entire town because the sprinklers went off. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, she said her pipes busted upstairs. Yes, bad. her pipes busted. Um, Wanda and Vision sprinklers went off when Wanda's water broke. They didn't got no sprinklers. It was just raining in the house. You don't think they had a sprinkler system Houses in the don't Brady's have house? Sprinkler systems. I feel like those were some real nutty industrial looking spaces. I nah, would not be surprised. I just felt like it was raining. Oh well, you know what I thought was weird though. Why did you have to hide under the the table for rain? I know. I don't know. She didn't want to get wet. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, so, you know, Geraldine, I want to keep calling her Maria. <laughs> but, uh, and it's not even Maria. It's Monica. Monica Rambo. You got me saying, come on, man. You messing me up. Sorry, guys. So, anywho, um, she comes in the house and she's explaining, you know, her story, what happened at work. She got a promotion. Well, she needs a bucket. And, and oh, yeah. this whole time, Wanda has a wherewithal to know that, hey, there's no way I should be this pregnant. Right. So Wanda's trying to hide, hide her pregnancy. Yeah. So um, then they sit down on the couch. Yes. And she's telling her story and a stork just shows up in well, the house. Because Wanda had painted the stork. On the wall of the nursery, mm -hmm. which 
Geraldine knows as the spare room. I'm so trying. They to, don't even know. Right, right, right. Spare room. But I'm trying to figure out how come she couldn't make the stork disappear. I don't know because she kept on trying. Yeah, she kept she trying. She kept on trying, and the stork wasn't going to do it. Here's what I think. I think for whatever reason, she's not as effective when Geraldine's around. Mm. So I really want to go back and watch the other two episodes and see what, if anything, she was able to do. The only thing I remember is they were able to bring her She was in effective front. at the end. In the magic, well, <laughs> the ma well, the magic show, she was able to bring Monica Geraldine. Guys, we'll just start doing a, a Geraldine Monica jar. I know, And right? put it in our vacation bin. So, um, they were able to, on episode two, as they were doing the magic trick, bring her in. But that was about it that I remember. So, she's looking like she's trying to hide her pregnancy. Obviously, boom, cover is blown. Well, Monica goes into the spare room. Nursery. Well, she right. calls it the spare right, room. Right, right. So, by this point, Vision comes with the doctor. And no, he doesn't. So they're in the spare room, and the stork is. He went in there, right? And now he's he's like in the painting, like right, posing, like faking it, right, or whatever, trying to hide from Geraldine. And she's like, "Yo, you're pregnant? Like, what's going on?" And then right then and there, Monica, I mean, uh, Wanda goes into labor. Yes. So, lay her down on the floor. She's going into labor. Everything's going buck wild in the house. Yes. Pictures are spinning. So, it's so funny because I feel like um, in the in that time period, right? This was pre-ER, pre-Hill Street Blues, pre... So, we weren't... Um, I don't want to say gritty, right? But everything seemed so like, oh, you lay down, boop, here's your baby, that type of thing. So um, if you watch it with your, you know, 2021 eyes, you're like, okay, this would never happen. They would yeah. never do this, right? But you got to think, all right, in the 70s, that's how they made it seem. I don't know. I think women were more empowered back then. And it seems funny to say that, but I feel like women was like, oh, you're pregnant. Let me help you. And delivered babies like that. Yes. Yes. But what I'm saying is, is that um, for the reason of television, they don't it doesn't get gory. Oh, right? Yeah. Okay. So, like, now, if somebody were to deliver a baby on television, the baby would still have blood mucus and, and mucus yeah. where this baby, you know. Yeah. Came out looking they're like, like Hagrid. Right. Big right, as hell. right. Well, <laughs> yeah. And then she's like, you know, for me, having delivered two children, I'm like, I'm not laying down. Like, you're going against gravity. You're like, I never understood what the water bucket was. I... So many questions, guys. But um, she delivers one baby. Yep. And then Vision comes in. Vision comes in. She tells him, meet your son as yourself. So Vision, yep. he brings the doctor, um, snatched him He's up. He's like, I missed up. him. He's like, oh, I missed it. And then he sees him. He turns into his normal form. Yes. And... He's and like, this time, hey, Tommy. During this but the time, whole time, he wanted to be Billy. Billy. But this time, Geraldine and the doctor are talking? Or where are they? They went into the kitchen for something. Right. Hmm. I got to go back and check. Hmm. Because then, Geraldine comes out. No. Or is it Vision that's there for the second? Yeah, Vision. Vision's there for the second child. So she has two boys. Vision then goes to walk the doctor outside. Did they say the name of the second kid? Yeah. What was it? So it's Billy and Tommy. Oh, it is Billy. Yeah, and it's All Billy right. and Tommy. Um, shout out to everyone that has gone through naming children. Like, comment down below if you got to name the child, or if your spouse did, or like how you guys went about that because it can be tense. You don't think so? Mm -mm. I, I think you would have named Ella Corey. Nah. So that's what we do now? I wouldn't have. He should have. Straight up should have. Anyway, but Vision goes to walk the doctor out, which the doctor has done nothing. The doctor hasn't weighed the children. 
know. Ha- hasn't done the exam. What is it? The ab scar or whatever they, they normally do. Well, that was the thing. From you know, the door, he wasn't nutty. doing nothing. He put the stethoscope to her stomach and was like, yeah, you're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> and was like, my job here is done. But I almost wonder, right? Like, I want to go back and look at 70s shows and see if that's the way they treated it. Like, mm-hmm. you know. But anyway, he goes to walk the doctor out. And he says, I'm really sorry. I hope you didn't, like, you know, miss your mess up your trip to Bermuda. And very Once Upon a Time, like, shout out to ABC's Once Upon a Time. Comment down below if you've ever seen it. The doctor says, oh, I won't be going. And kind of says something cryptic. Like, in small towns like this, you never leave. Yeah. How did you feel about that? Small towns like this, you never leave. Um, I feel like he was giving him a hint or something. Like, I, I feel like two things. I feel like... Small towns like this, like, this is made up, almost. Yes, I feel like he was giving him a hint. But it also was like a ping in my heart because I do believe that there are, um, it could almost be taken and applied to today. I think it's very important for people to explore their world as many ways as possible. And there are some people that never leave their town. Mm Mm-hmm. And and then you get the, you know, oh, that's a small town mentality. Well, they haven't been anywhere else or ventured out anywhere. Yeah. Um... But then, while he's doing that, you've got Herb, and then you've got Agnes busting it up. Yep. And now, at the same time, yes, Geraldine and Wanda are talking. Mm-hmm. So, while Vision's outside, they're like, Herb's trying to drop him a hint. Like, yo. Right. And Agnes is about to drop This ain't Herb. it. You know right. what I'm saying? And right. Um, Agnes was like, stop it. Remember? Well, and that's what, happened, like, that's what happened at dinner, though. Yes. But Agnes was in there, like, planting the seed for Geraldine. Right. Yep. Like, oh, she's in there with Geraldine? You better watch her. You know, something's going on. It ain't... Geraldine ain't Geraldine who you think she is. just came out of nowhere. Geraldine doesn't have a family. Doesn't have you a know, house. God forbid you don't have a family. And then she said... Um, doesn't have a home. Doesn't have a home. And then Vision's like, er. At which point... Wanda's looking lovingly at her twins. By the way, Wanda lost all of her baby weight in a matter of 2.2 seconds. Um, fun fact, took me about two and a half, maybe three years. I'm saying um, it only took her 12 hours to be four months pregnant. So, so she's looking lovingly at her twins and she's watching them together. And then she starts to reminisce and says, I'm a twin. And Geraldine was like, bingo. We got action. Mm-hmm. Did, did Geraldine ask her what her twin's name was or did no, Wanda just, volunteer? Yeah, she just told him the name. And she mentions, she says Petro's name. And then she starts singing to the children in her native tongue. Yeah. And doing a lullaby, which I thought was like super, super sweet. And I think we all have that one lullaby that we remember. Mm-hmm. Um, then, again, Geraldine's like, boom, tag me in, coach. Let me in. So she says, and I'm going to mess this up because I don't have the accent, but she said, he was killed by Ultron. And I think she repeated, did she repeat it again? Or she said, Pedro was yeah. killed by Ultron. No, she said, what did you say about Pedro? Pedro. Um, Which is funny because in Age of Ultron, she had an accent the whole entire movie. Next movie, no accent at all. Yeah. So to hear her, first of all, speaking in Sokovian and then saying his name with mm-hmm. the accent was funny to me. But go ahead. Shout out to Idris. I feel like I always get thrown off when an English actor does an American accent and then like they're being interviewed. Yo, him in the wire, Vision. I never knew. <laughs> Did you know that Vision had an like, accent? He's from England. Yeah. I didn't. Until he was at the panel. I was like, whoop. But anyway, so then Wanda gets pissed. She's like. Right. She, she gets hostile. Say something about my daddy's watch again. Mm. Yeah. Say one more thing about my daddy's watch. They don't know that reference. <laughs> Comment down below if you know the reference for that. Um, then it's go time. 
Like well now Geraldine think, tries to back back out and say, Oh, you're yeah, such a shy and try to be woman. complimentary. Yeah. Um now to my thing is it's like Wanda's like, yo, she's trying to mess up my reality I'm creating here. But it's not a reality. She gotta go. Well, and then you know, Herb was trying to tip off vision. At the end of the day, as of now, I'm Team Geraldine. I'm that friend. I'm the, I'm gonna hug you after, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. Like, I'll wait until you open that door, and you say something. I'm like, uh, oh, maybe I should yeah, have. Yeah, but she could have went off. She might have went off. And then I'm like. <laughs> She might have went off script. I don't think I could have stayed on script because I think that, um, and I don't know, like, what is the comic book relationship between Monica Rambo and Wanda? Good question. Because if you're my friend and you're lying to yourself, right? All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let you live for like a hot second. I don't think there really is one in the comic book. I think this is like where they're starting to mash. Everything like together. together and make but, their own thing. But if you're this, and this is what she says, you are a strong woman. So it's almost like you want to say, listen, this really, really stinks. But you, of all people, you've got this. Snap out of this. Let's accept what it is. Let's move on. Nah, I'm good. Get out. Boop. And literally blows her out of the town. Blows her out of the town. And so we're... Like I'm, I'm gonna assume is sword agents right outside of the bubble surrounding right. her. Whoop, whoop. And it's so crazy because like everything in the town right now is like seventies, but you see, those are new vehicles. Yeah, this new suburban. And so I think I don't know. I, well, then Vision comes back in and is like, "Yo, where'd Geraldine go?" And she said, "Oh, she left." Yeah, yeah. Because she's like, "Let's get back to how I've been like living lying here. to him," which is so. So you know what, guys. It, it, this happens. As we're talking about it, I am excited for the next one. Um, yeah, I mean, I I'm, think that's what they're doing, right? They're well played, to the last damn 10 minutes of the whole show. Every time. To, to hype you up for the next one. And well played, peeps. Well played, peeps. And um, we didn't see, like, all of the townspeople, so I'm curious to see how they're going to incorporate them back. Um, next week. But you know what, guys? But you know how Marvel gets they got down me. before you do that, right? You know what happens. You're going to run through the whole thing, and then something's going to happen at the end that's going to reference something from, like, episode one, and then you have to go back and watch it again. That's just how Marvel does. You get us every time. So. Every time. I mean, okay. They got me this time. I'm, I'm, I'm in now. So how I'm many ready. times do you think you've seen Infinity War? Ooh. Infinity. <laughs> really? They, they get you every time, right? So, so um, shout out to the people that were like on board episode one that were like, oh, no, Nicole, like, really, this is actually really good. Yep. I was like, Ugh. yeah, they was, they was jumping like, on me, too. I don't drink coffee. How am I going to survive through this? They got me. The Easter eggs is what was holding me on. In yes. the first two episodes. I'm yes. Like, okay, I'm going to hold on to these Easter eggs. That's all the hope I had to hold on to. Yes. So, but I will say... I didn't even peep any Easter eggs in this one. I got to go back. <laughs> we we have to go back. I will say this. Shout out again to Disney Plus because it is the gift that keeps on giving. So, we've got this. We have some other things coming up that we'll be reviewing. Mm -hmm. um, so, stay tuned for... Our girl reviews. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like this video, and follow us on our social media at Road Tripping with the Roots. At the end of the day, episode three, we give it a go. That was a go. Episode three was a go. I, I at first, so I was at the beginning of this. I was like the car in the middle of winter that doesn't want to start. I was like. <coughs> mm -hmm. But now talking about it with you and then like thinking about it, it was well played. Yeah. Well played. You got me. Yeah. So guys, we've got some stuff coming your way. We've got some exciting stuff coming. So be sure to um, tap into our Instagram, our website, and also um, stay tuned to our YouTube channel. Um, I'm excited. I think we're going to watch it again. Of course. All right. 
So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. And until the next time, keep tripping. Bye guys. <laughs>